In a previous video, I was trying out some screencasting software. See if I could record uh, a video game on my desktop as a, and save it as a video file. In that last video, I had the game running in windowed mode. So the, the whole game is running in this little window about this big, and the screen was, you know, is like this big. I figured if it was a window, it would be uh, fewer pixels and a lower file size compared to do, compared to doing a full screen video. So I just did a uh, a test of the full screen video recording, and it was pretty laggy. You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to do any uh, video game screencasting. So here we go. This is uh, well in the last video. I explained that I was having trouble setting up a uh, underground railway system and in this video I'll show you what I did to solve that problem. Okay, this is what I did with my rail system. I found that if I put a powered rail... Wow, this is really laggy. If I put a powered rail next to a block like this, there's a powered rail right underneath there, and I put a button on the wall, when you hit the button, powered rail will propel this forward around seven or eight blocks. So what I did was every seven or eight blocks I put another powered rail and uh, I have a redstone torch next to it to power it. So and if I were to take, you can see it's lit up there, if I take this down you can see now it's off. that back up. Now it's lit up. So if I get in here and click that button, <clears throat> the cart is propelled all the way along the track. And since the last uh, powered rail is turned off, then that acts as a brake and it stops the, uh, the mine cart. And as soon as you hit the button, it powers it, and then it uh, powers itself off. So what I can do is get in here. If I click that button, travel all the way to the end. That last one is off, so that'll stop me. space so that if I hit this again it will power the rail underneath the cart right now and I'll reach that powered rail there which will be enough to propel me all the way back so let me try that now the brake works because as soon as you hit the button it pushes you and then it turns itself off cleared some space above here so that I can get out without hitting my head taking damage and that's how I set up my underground railway <laughs> 